Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to study about the disadvantages and applications of OOPs. So, what are the disadvantages of OOPs? With OOPs, the classes are tend to be overly generalized and to adopt the flow diagrams and object oriented program is a complex process to convert the real world object into an object oriented model is a difficult process and also one needs the proper planning and proper design for object oriented programming. So this is about the disadvantages of OOPs. So next topic is the applications of OOPs. So what are the applications of OOPs? The first application is CAD or CAM software. So object oriented programming is used in manufacturing and designing process as it involves people to reduce the effort involved. So object oriented programming makes it easy for the designers and engineers to produce the flow charts and blueprints easily. Next application is object oriented database. So it is also called as object database management system. So these databases used to store only the objects. These databases make the direct correspondence between the object that is real time object and databases to maintain the objects identity and integrity. Next application is user interface design such as windows. The graphical user interface design for windows operating system using object oriented programming is an interesting feature in programming. Next application is real time systems. So in real time systems inherit the complexities that makes it difficult to build them. So object oriented programming makes it easy to build these types of complex systems. Next application is simulation and modeling system. So these are all the complex systems difficult to build due to the varying specifications of variables and it's prevalent in medicines and in other areas of natural science like ecology, zoology and ergonomic systems. Object oriented programming uh, provides an alternative approach to build these types of complex modeling systems. So this is about simulation and modeling system. Next is artificial intelligence and expert systems. So these are all the computer applications built to solve the complex problems in a particular domain and which is far beyond than the human brain. It provides some of the characteristics like a reliable, highly responsive, understandable and high performance. So this is about artificial intelligence and expert systems. Next is hypertext and hypermedia. What is hypertext? Hypertext is similar to the regular text as it can be stored, searchable and edited easily. The only difference is that hypertext contains the pointers to other text as well. Next is hypermedia. What is hypermedia? Hypermedia is a superset of hypertext. Documents containing hypermedia contains the pointers to the other forms of text and information as well. It ranges from images to sound. And the last application is computer graphic applications. So using C++ we can create low end graphics too. That is we can create the basic shapes and words using stylish fonts and we can add colors to them. So this is about the disadvantages and applications of OOPs. So this completes this chapter. And what are the questions you can expect from this chapter? For one more question you can expect what is the fundamental idea of object oriented programming? So the answer for this question is objects and classes. 
Second question, what is an object? An object is a real world entity and it is a collection of data members and member functions. Third question is, define the term class. What is a class? Class is a collection of objects having same features. And fourth question is, define the term data abstraction. So data abstraction is nothing but hiding the background details from the user. Fifth question is, what is encapsulation? What is encapsulation? It combines both data and functions into a single unit called class. Sixth question is, what is meant by function overloading? What is function overloading? Two or more functions having the same name but differ in the number of arguments as well as the or in the data types of the arguments. And seventh question is define polymorphism. What is polymorphism? Polymorphism means taking many forms. Eighth question is what is inheritance? Inheritance means acquiring the features from one class to another class. Ninth question what is a base class? So it is a class whose properties are inherited by another class. Next question, what is derived class? So it is a class that, inherit, in, that inherits properties from the base class. Next question, how are base class and derived classes related? So derived class inherits properties from base class. Next question is define the term data hiding. The data of a class can be accessed only by the functions present inside that class. So it is called as data hiding. Next question is mention any four high level languages that follow object oriented programming approach. So that is C++, Java, C Sharp, Python and Python and J sharp, C, C++, Java, C sharp and Python. So these are all the one mark questions. When come to five mark questions, um, usually they will ask, write the difference between procedure oriented and object oriented programming model. So write down the difference between them. Second question, explain the advantages of OOPS. So mention all the advantages of OOPS. Third question is write the disadvantages of object oriented programming. So list out the disadvantages of OOPS. And the last question is write the real life applications of object oriented programming. So list out all the real time applications of OOPS. So this completes this chapter. Thank you.